Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to set up your first 5M server. Now, this is only for advanced people. This tutorial may be able to walk you through it. You might be able to follow it. It's pretty much like a lot of my other tutorials. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you do check them out on how to set up a Rust server and other servers like that. So, um, if you've got your Red M working completely and you're ready to set up your own server, this is a process you're going to want to do as of November 21st of 2019. This process may change in the future. I, I can guarantee you it will change in the future. But as of right now, throughout the beta testing and alpha testing of uh, Red M or the testing of Red M, uh, if you want to jump in and create your own server and mess around a little bit, then this tutorial will help you do that. So as you guys can see, we're kind of on the 5M website here, which might be throwing you off a little bit uh, and kind of confusing you, which is perfectly understandable. It's kind of confusing. But uh, what's going to happen here is I'm going to explain everything to you and kind of give you guys a rundown on how to set up the server. So it's a little less confusing, and I'll, tr I'll try to explain things as we go. So um, as you guys can see here on the official Red M website, it's currently saying it's going to be launched in late 2019. What the, what the group Citizen FX is doing is they're using the same framework they've been using for 5M to work with uh, Red M. So basically, it's going to be the exact same way you usually set up a 5M server, but there's a little bit of different things you got to do to make it work, as well as keep in mind that it's still in development, so some functions and features still may not be there. So give them time to work these out and push them out and try not to flood their Discord too much um, with, you know, questions on here, th here, there. So this will at least help you set up your server and the rest is all in, in your hands at that point, okay? So what you're going to want to do is go to the 5m.net website and you guys are going to want to go down to download server non-commercial. Now this might throw you off because usually you do this if you're setting up a 5m server. You're going to want to go to uh, to the bottom here if you're running on Windows. This tutorial is for Windows. I cannot help you if you're using Linux. Try to follow the steps if you kind of know how to set up a Linux server. Uh, just try to follow this as much as possible. So what you guys are going to want to do is you guys want to go to artifact servers. You guys are going to want to get the latest artifact. Don't worry. I know it says 5m. Just bear with me. So you guys are going to want to download the latest artifact, open that up. You guys are going to want to go down and copy everything in here. You guys are going to want to make a folder. Um, I'm going to be pausing this for a moment. All right, guys, as you guys can see, we got a folder open here called Red M Tutorial. We're going to grab the files and we're going to paste them in here. Sorry if you hear the kitty cat in the background. I got a kitten. Um, his name's Frost for anybody who's interested. It's a new cat um, for those who just haven't heard from me in like a year. Um, yeah, I got a kitten. Um, so anyways, <laughs> let's get into it. Let's transfer the files over and get that going. So basically what you're going to want to do right now, I forget the name of the folder. We're going to get that. And we're going to get it all set up right now. But the first thing, actually, we can do that right now. We're going to find out that name. So we're going to want to name it server-data, which I was correct usually. Um, you want to go here, go here server dash data now this is how i usually do it i usually create the server dot dash data first and then the server dot cfg and then we're going to open that up right here and you're going to see that you have a server cfg i'm using sublime text uh, i'm going to try to go slow for you guys here um so basically uh once you've done that you're going to want to scroll down here and get your server cfg now i know we're skipping the most important step which is the dot bat but don't worry um we'll get to that so um <clears throat> leave everything exactly the same you are going to want to change like the type the server name whatever um you guys are going to want a web api which is also something you're going to need to do as well um i recommend getting your dev your steam web api from uh steam and do that um your license you're also going to need uh that as well um so you're going to need to grab that as well uh, and set that up so we'll do that we'll do the first steps that uh, we're gonna need to do first before anything else so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go through here and remove everything everything in there then you're gonna want to stop session manager stop web admin you want to stop those two things okay just stop them make sure they don't run on startup they're automatically gonna run on startup even if you remove them they're gonna start up automatically so you're going to want to stop them so they stop starting up. Right when they go, boom, your server is going to go, oh, he wants me to stop that. We're going to stop those two things so that you can get that step out of the way because you're going to do a lot of starting and stopping resources throughout your time uh, with Red M's Alpha. So 
Uh, make sure you do that. Um, also recommend setting up an Archon password if you need to or whatever, and also change your server name if that's something you're interested in. So um, now that we got that set up, we're going to go to setting up the dot .bat. So we're going to copy this right here uh, in step eight. Um, we're going to want to copy that here and go here to our folder and go back to the main part of the folder right here and you're going to want to go here create a new text document call this start.bat now that's going to start your server you can really name it anything if you want like start uh red m red m server dot bat and then you can go in right click it and edit it and paste that in then you're going to want to go up to the top bar here click this and copy that it's going to be different for you um because your your uh your path is different than my path on my machine so um yeah just basically you're going to want to replace all the way to the point fx server same with uh the top part here you're going to want to just make sure that server dash uh data is there and just run is right after your path um then you're going to want to save that close it and then make sure you have your server dot cfg in there and then just run you guys are going to want to make sure that there's no spaces as you guys can notice here i ended up changing mine to um no spaces uh in my folder name so it's going to shoot you an error saying server license key http whichever um what you guys are going to need to do at this point is uh go to the first link in the description called server license key and get your guys's license key Okay, now once you guys have your license key, you guys are going to want to go up here, go into your server CFG, and make sure you guys put it right here. Now, I'm going to pause the video right here, or and or blur this out, and we're going to paste it right here, and that'll be fine. Um, actually, I'm going to leave it unblurred. Uh, I'll just deactivate this one later. So there's the license key you're going to want, and then you want to close that, go back into your folder, your main folder directory, and like I said, run the dot bat and everything should run perfectly fine. It should start starting up. You should see this and everything should be working perfectly fine. So uh, also you're going to want to close that immediately right after that. Go into your components dash JS and edit right here where SVAD hassive. You're going to want to get rid of that. Make sure that's out of your components. It's going to shoot an error every once in a while. You're going to want to get rid of that. I've actually gotten rid of it. Um, I don't know if things have changed as of the 20 past the 21st. I just got rid of this literally when I set up mine. I was told to and it fixed a lot of my issues. If things have changed, things have changed, I guess. Um, like I said, it's still in alpha, so a lot of things are going to change. Um, then you're going to want to grab a folder called resources that there. Um, then you pretty much have your server set up at this point. You're going to want to go to your 5M documentation and make sure you download this. Copy that, download it. It's going to be the first link in the description as well. You guys are going to have that. And copy that. And to here. Boom. All right, now when you start everything up, you should see that it found new resources and it's starting to load them. You want to make sure that it did stop the resources because as I stated before, it starts the resources automatically. So make sure that it stopped those two resources for you and that that's done. Um, once you've done that and you ran that to make sure that that works, I know it's a, we're a little all over the place, guys. Bear with me. Um, it's I'm, I'm trying to make it as easy for you guys as possible. Just follow these steps. It should be easy. Um, then you guys are going to want to do SV underscore LAN 1. Um, and you guys are going to want to actually do set SV LAN. I think it's SV LAN underscore 1. Um, want to put that right under your host name. Uh, just for the sake of this, because it is going to be LAN, um, a local hosted one. If you guys want a video on... Um, if you guys want a video on something more uh, port forwarded or something public, uh, not just on your main PC, uh, hit a like on this video, drop a comment below. 
um, I can get that video out to you guys uh, if you guys are really interested in something like that. So it's now running. Um, it should be fully working unless I have to open some ports. But uh, from my knowledge, it should be working perfectly fine. You guys are going to want to go to your, fi uh, your 5M folder. Go into your cache where your game folder is. You're going to see the launcher folder that you've got. Uh, you're going to want to launch the launcher. I already have my launcher open right here. So it should be running. Make sure you run it through your cache and you turn auto updates off. Uh, then you're just going to want to launch a Red M. And it should load up. Uh, you're going to see it start downloading things, maybe uh, loading in at this point. As long as you've gotten open Red M before, um, then you should. De this should definitely be something you're familiar with. You direct connect into your machine, uh, which we're going to do here now. Uh, we're going to see if this is going to work. Uh, I don't know if I have my... Uh, if I have any of my ports on my firewall open or not, but we will see. Oh, actually, did it just find it? It did. Okay, cool. So now we just load right into it. It's going to connect us into the server. At the top right there, you're going to see a blur or a block up here. You're going to see your, your email up there. For some reason, Red M's been using that as for the alpha. Don't know why. Maybe someone in the comments below can really explain that to me. Um, but yeah, you should eventually see it do a loading screen and load you into your server. Uh, I believe because I am streaming and I am recording it, it's going to take a minute. So uh, bear with me a moment and uh, should be in in no time. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys drop a like on it. If it did help you set up your server, make sure you comment below. Share it with a friend if they're trying to set up their server. Um, I'm basically just trying to spread some word out for you guys, some knowledge out for you guys. So you guys can at least set up a server to mess around and play with with your friends. Um, and jump in and try to discover as much as you possibly can. I mean, it's, it's in, it's in pre-release right now. So, um, there's not really much you can do, but you know, you can definitely have some fun with your friends. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to cut to when we load in. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to cut. I'm not even going to cut. We're just going to load in. Cause I, I know people are going to think that, oh, he just cut it into it. And whatever see at the bottom right you're gonna see a loading you're more than likely gonna load into the world and everything's gonna start generating around you uh, unlike in Red Dead Redemption the world's generated pre you getting into the server so what you could do is throw a script in there to check that but that's entirely up to your preference if that's what you want to do or not and as you guys can see we are in Red M everything is gonna start generating probably a little slow at first because I am recording my screen and the game is running at pretty decent quality um, at pretty decent frame rate actually um, so yeah this is your red M server if you press F8 there is your red M um, one thing you guys are gonna notice is your wheels not gonna work which is currently an issue in alpha but uh, I'm sure that'll be fixed in the future as well as um, you're going to need to basically run scripts and create your own scripts and stuff. You can get trainers and stuff too. I might do videos on that. If you guys want to see some Red M or Red Dead Redemption videos for me, drop a like and a comment. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me... Oh, shoot. He's trying to shoot me. Trying to shoot me. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm definitely going to be pushing out more videos on Red M and Red Dead Redemption if you guys want to see some of those. I hope this video helped you guys out. I'm sorry for the long, complicated video, but I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to set up. I mean, the guide's right there. If you're having some issues, drop a comment below. I'll try to help you, or maybe someone in the community can help you out as well. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay frosty. Sip it cold ain't in the nose, please Cause nobody around know me I'm so low-key She say that she missed the old me Cause she lonely But it ain't my fault